Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question that says Find n if the ratio of the fifth term from the beginning to the fifth term from the end in the expansion of 4th root of 2 plus 1 upon 4th root of 3 raised to the power n is root over 6 is to 1. Let us now begin with the solution. And the fifth term in the expansion of 4th root of 2 plus 1 upon 4th root of 3 raised to the power n is given by nc4 into 4th root of 2 raised to the power n minus 4 into 1 upon 4th root of 3 raised to the power 4, which is further equal to nc4 2 raised to the power n minus 4 upon 4 into 1 upon 3 raised to the power 4 upon 4, which is further equal to n c4 2 raised to the power n minus 4 upon 4 into 1 upon 3. Now the total number of terms is equal to n plus 1 and the fifth term from the end will be equal to n plus 1 minus 5 plus 1 -th term from the beginning that is n minus 3th term from the beginning further equal to n c n minus 4 fourth root of 2 raised to the power n minus n minus 4 into 1 upon fourth root of 3 raised to the power n minus 4. So this is further equal to Since nc n minus 4 is equal to factorial n upon factorial n minus 4 into factorial 4 and similarly nc 4 is also equal to factorial n upon factorial 4 into factorial n minus 4. So both these values are equal. So on replacing nc n minus 4 by nc4, this is taken further by written as nc4, 4th root of 2 raised to the power 4 into 1 upon 4th root of 3 raised to the power n minus 4. Further equal to nc4 into 2 raised to the power 1 upon 4 into 4 into 1 upon 3 n minus 4 upon 4 which is further equal to nc4 into 2 into 1 upon 3 n minus 4 upon 4. Now according to the question we are given that Ratio of fifth term from the beginning upon fifth term from the end is equal to nc4 2 raised to the power n minus 4 upon 
upon 4 into 1 upon 3 upon nc4 into 2 into 1 upon 3 raised to the power n minus 4 upon 4. Now this ratio is given as root over 6 upon 1. So this is equal to nc4 cancels out with nc4. And we have 2 raised to the power n minus 4 upon 4 into 1 upon 3 upon 2 into 1 upon 3 raised to the power n minus 4 upon 4. This further implies that root over 6 upon 1 is equal to 2 raised to the power n upon 4 minus 2 upon 1 upon 3 raised to the power n upon 4 minus 2 and on cross multiplying we get root over 6 into 1 upon 3 raised to the power n upon 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 raised to the power n minus 4 minus 2. Or it can further be written as 6 raised to the power half is equal to 2 upon 1 upon 3 raised to the power n upon 4 minus 2 which implies that 6 raised to the power half is equal to 6 raised to the power n upon 4 minus 2 and on comparing we find that half is equal to n upon 4 minus 2 or n upon 4 is equal to half plus 2 which is equal to 5 upon 2 or we can say that n is equal to 5 into 4 upon 2. So 2 twos are 4. This is equal to 10. Hence our answer is the value of n is equal to 10. So this completes the session. Take care and have a good day.